Hello, everybody. You did it. You did it. This is the last week of specials. You did great. In fact, today, I want you to join me. You see, I'm laying here on my floor. Go ahead. What I want you to do is lay on your floor. You can lay on your back, on your side. Give your body a break. You can lay on your tummy, whichever way you want. In fact, I'm going to get out of the picture because I don't want you looking at the video anymore. I just want you to listen. I want you to give your eyes a break. Okay? Whew. Here we go. Back to my little sign. Give your eyes a break. It's time to listen. Give those eyes a break. Okay, so now as you just sit and listen and go ahead and close your eyes, take a nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, let it out. And I want you to give yourself a pat on the back because you did it. You made a huge adjustment. We are so used to learning in the school. We follow the same routines and it's great, but we had to totally switch things up and you did it. And there were times that were frustrating or annoying or we couldn't figure it out. And there were also probably great times, but in the end you did it. And that is awesome. So for today, we are going to change things up a bit because reading, we already know certain things about reading. We know that our environment can affect our reading. So if it's loud or time of day, maybe early in the morning, you're just not ready to read or late at night, you're getting tired. It doesn't matter. We, we are starting to figure out things about when is the best time for us to do reading and really learn from what we're reading. Take in what's going on, what's happening in the story, who are the characters. And so today we're going to do it a little differently, just a little differently. Today, you're going to find a couple ways, creative ways to read. And we're going to start out with singing and reading. Okay, you can continue to keep your eyes closed or go ahead and open them and watch who I interview. The person I'm about to interview, the guest speaker, she actually lives right across the hallway from me and Mrs. Marish. Can you guess who it is? She's going to talk about the importance of how music can be incorporated with reading and how it's great for our brains. Hello, yes. everybody. Guess what? Guess what? We have a guest speaker, and it is Mrs. Cantrell. Oh. Hey. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we were just talking about other ways to help us when we read and our sometimes our environment can affect us the way we can read maybe there's too much light or not enough light or maybe we're not comfortable where we're sitting or there's a lot of background noise but something that we don't always explore is what happens if we're reading and we're just having trouble getting into a book what is another way to possibly use and so i would love for you to help us understand that connection between music and reading well, Miss Heidi, I'm so glad you asked because there is a great connection between music and reading. After all, the library and the music room are across the hall from each other, right? <laughs> so music is one of those activities, and there aren't very many, that really activates every part of your brain. So if you can think of your brain kind of lighting up when it's, when it's working, and when you're reading and you add some music to it, it's going to make your brain just fire on all cylinders and lots of great stuff is going to be happening. So you might consider singing your book or your story instead of just reading it in your head. You can sing it out loud. You can use a song that you know, a melody that you know, like Twinkle Twinkle, or you can make up your own, just sort of some sing-songy voice. Doesn't matter what it sounds like, just have fun with it. Miss Katie stood at the window and she saw the bird on the tree something like that. And that's really just gonna activate your brain and make your reading that much better. Awesome. And there was another thing that we also wanted to explore is that not necessarily singing, but how rhythm can also be a great help. Sure. So when you were really little, you probably learned some nursery rhymes and those all have a steady beat, a rhythm, and that helps you to remember what you're reading. And it also helps you read fluently or smoothly. So something you can do is maybe with a parent's help, 
get online and find some sort of a steady beat, some instrument making a steady beat, something like that, and read along to that beat. So you want it to be steady. We want the tempo to stay the same, not getting faster, not getting slower, but something steady. And having it come from an external source, something from the internet is better than you clapping along to it because you're probably gonna change your speed if you do the, the rhythm yourself. But if you get some sort of beat and read to it, it's just gonna help your reading be a lot more smooth and fluid. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for your help today. You're welcome. You, because we are, we are very sad that you're leaving. It was very hard to hear, but you know what? The way we look at it, if you don't mind, at some point in time, I have a feeling we would love to have you as a special guest in the library. I would love that. Anytime, anytime. I'd love to see you and everybody. Great. All right. See you later. Thank you again so much. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm throwing out a challenge to you. Tonight, you say, Mom and Dad. Take a load off your feet. I got a little surprise for you. And you're gonna grab a book. You can grab anything, literally anything. And you get to sing it. Now don't worry if it doesn't go to a certain song. Right now, I'm literally gonna spontaneously sing this song while I do There Wasn't a Lady Who Swallowed Fly Guy. So here we go. Now again, remember, this is targeting a part of your brain. Your brain is gonna be so happy after this. Think of it about it as dental floss in your brain. Parts of your brain are going to light up. You didn't even know. So here we go. There was an old lady who swallowed fly guy. Oh, Miss Heidi, what were you going to do? That's right. There was an old lady who swallowed fly guy by Ted Arnold. A young boy named Buzz had a pet fly. No one knows why he had a pet fly. Buzz named him. Fly Guy, Buzz named him Fly Guy, Buzz named him Fly Guy, Fly Guy. Okay, I added that part on. It was just fun. Here we go. Okay, now chapter one. Here we go. One day Buzz went to visit his grandma, Fly Guy. Went to grandma was happy to see Buzz. She ran to hug him. So there you go. There is a little part. Should I keep going? Okay, I'll do one more page. Hi, Grandma, said Buzz. I want you to meet my pet. Grandma said glurk. Grandma said glurk. And she, wa and she swallowed fly. Okay, so again, you are going to find a book, any book, it doesn't have to be a rhyming book or anything like that, and you are going to try singing. Also, remember Mrs. Cantrell talked about um, adding a beat in, so I pulled up GarageBand, and I'm going to try a few pages with a beat, so here we go. Hit on. Okay, here we go. Here I go. Buzz didn't know why. She swallowed fly guy. Chapter two. Fly guy went down a deep dark hole. Now I'm gonna try and sing to the beat. Oh gosh, here we go. At the bottom of the hole, he came to a wet place. He looked around for a while, then he wanted to leave. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so now the last part of this that we're going to try is in rap style. Now, again, I'm just going to spontaneously do this. There are going to be tons of mistakes. You'll even hear me make mistakes. But it's just about trying it out. So I'm going to start the beat, and I'm going to wrap out the song. This is going to lead me into my next lesson about freestyle rapping. But 
Wrapping uses a very different part of our brain, which is great because again, I love using all parts of our brain and exercising it because it helps in all of your learning. So here we go. We're going to give it a try. I'm going to wrap this. I've never done it before, so this will be interesting. So I'm going to just start my beat up. Hmm. Here I go. He started up the hole. Just then, Grandma swallowed a spider to catch fly guy. So I'm kind of listening to the rhythm and I'm following the beat. She swallowed a bird to catch the spider. She swallowed a cat to catch the bird. She swallowed a dog to catch the cat. She swallowed a goat to catch the dog. Oh my goodness, this is getting cramped. She swallowed a cow to catch the goat. Chapter three and boom. There you go. Just on this page. So there you have it. We gave it a try. We tried to sing it. And then we did it sing it with rhythm. And then this last part was this rapping version. So way to go. All right, now it's your turn to give it a try. <laughs>